Hey there, I'm Ken, this is CRT, welcome to this episode. In this episode, I'm going to dive deeper into the Nitrous Dine Ease of Use project. Now, I recently did a video where I show you how to set this up on your Color Computer 3 with a Coco SDC, as well as on the uh, VCC emulator. So if you haven't done that yet and you're wondering how to do it, I'll put a link to the video up there, down there, everything else. Uh, you can check that out and uh, follow the steps there to get this up and running. Now, what I've done is I have read a few of the instructions. So with some help from those instructions, as well as a lot of help from Curtis Boyle himself, I have uh, figured out what a few of the uh, commands and key presses and everything else are for getting more use out of this. It's uh, ways to operate both the GUI and the shells uh, in the program. So yeah, I'm going to go over some of those things to do so you can get more use out of Nitrous 9 and you can start enjoying it like I have been. So let's jump right in and get started. All right, it is time to load up Nitrous 9 Ease of Use Edition. And I have a little shot of my keyboard down in the corner there so that you can see the keys that I'm pressing while I'm doing it. Hello. All right, so load it up. Now remember, if uh, you need to see how to set this up on your computer or your VCC, emulator um, just check out that last video I did on nitrous 9 uh, the video is also available on the nitrous 9 website there is a link to it there so I'm going to actually put in the date this time it's not necessary but it does allow you to do some other stuff so it is June the 21st and it is currently 20 34 zero seconds there we go and one thing to remember that everything I'm going to show you here is well laid out in the um, nitrous 9 documentation the nitrous 9 ease of use documentation on the download page so you don't have to write down any of this stuff I'm showing you how to do here if you uh, are interested in any of this stuff, just download that documentation. It's easily laid out there for you. So let's open up all of the files here. There we go. I'm doing everything from the side of the computer so that I can film the keyboard. So things are a little awkward for me. Now, one of the th interesting things is I have the GUI open here. But when Nitrous 9 Ease of Use fires up, it opens up three separate windows. And so, so that's three different shells. So this is one of the shells. If you hit the clear key, you jump to a different shell. Now you could be writing a program in here or something or doing something else or open up another instance of the GUI. Now I only have 512K on this computer, so I gotta watch how many windows I have open at once, but there are three open right now. And back to the uh, file. Now, if I wanna go backwards through, I hit shift clear and it takes me back. Now, while I'm in the GUI, if I hit the S key, it opens up a uh, small shell window there for me. And one of the things that I can do when I'm in this shell or any of the shells with the command line is type PROC. And it gives me a list of all the shell windows and what they are currently doing. And to close this, you hit EX for exit. And uh, that's something that's pretty neat that you can do on this. Now, another thing that you can do, of course, is you can move your little cursor over, hit the little arrow there, and move the screen down. Another way to do that is hit the shift key and the down arrow, or the up arrow, to move through the files. So, lots of nice uh, 
simple thing to be able to do. There is so much to discover here. Now, another thing is um, there are different ways. So let's go into games again. Now we will go into arcade. And it's loading and it's loading and okay, well, let's say, hmm, I wanna play Tetris. Okay, well, we open up Tetris and it is going. So, la la la, I'm playing a game of Tetris. And wait a second, no. I like having Tetris open, but I wanna play something different. So if I hit the clear key, I go back and well, now we can open Thexter. There we go, now I got Thexter open. So I can move myself through these multiple windows with the clear key. Now, if I want to exit Tetris, obviously it says right on the screen, I can hit break to exit. Okay, so the screen that has Tetris is now closed. So let's move back to Thexter. There we go. You know what, I wanna close this one too, but break just closes the game. Yeah, break doesn't do it on this one. So on most of these games, if you actually hit control and Q, it quits. And then if you go through, that window is now closed. So that's something to know about your games. And if you go up to the little X here, you do have a few things. Now, remember I put the time in. Well, I can open a clock somewhere on this screen if I want. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's now 8.39. Something else I can open up is a calendar. Look at that, it is Monday the 21st, June 2021 when I am fil filming this. So there's, uh, yeah, you have access to a calendar and you can uh, scroll through the months. months. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> there's July. There is the day, the 17th, and I am leaving on vacation. All right, well. Um, I think. There we go. So I think, do I have, now I still have this open and I can close it like that. There we go. So I got a clock, I got a calendar, there's a calculator in there, you know, just your regular old calculator that, oops, uh, nope, I don't want to quit. There we go, you just, your regular old calculator that uh, does calculations. And um, there's also other stuff in the X up there. Like your control panel, you can change the color scheme and everything. Don't really want to do that. Now, one of the interesting things that I found when I was playing around, and uh, thank you to Curtis for helping me out with this because I didn't see it listed anywhere in the, uh, just the uh, quick notes basically uh, that I had read. But when you go into emulators, so you've got some CPM emulator here, it does have a bunch more games in it. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, some 
Uh, some game or some other things here. Word Star, Super Calc. Most importantly, Zorks one through three. So you can play Zork here. One of the greatest um, adventure games that uh, ever on a computer. And I've played it a little bit, and it is just like the uh, Zork that I have on my Apple computer and the other Zorks that I've played in the past. Now, however, um, you want to quit out of this. You basically have to type, usually it's quit or whatever the other way of uh, quitting the app is, or quitting the game. And yes, you want to leave the game. That closes the emulator. Now we will back up one. Or two. Ah. Into the RSB emulator. And this gives you another whole load of games. Oh, actually, no, sorry. Scratch that. This isn't games. Which this does is it opens up your basic. This is just your extended color basic for the uh, Coco computer. But something it does do is it gives you true um, small letters there just doesn't give you the uh, reversed colors where it's a black square with uh, greens when it's lowercase so and there we go so you've got some uh, true lowercase there in the uh, RSB emulator. Now if you want to exit this, you just type DOS and you're back. And that is just a few of the things that I have learned in the last little while. There we go. That is just scratching the surface of the things you can do with the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project, both with the shells and with the GUI. It's like I said, uh, most of the stuff that I did today is available in the documentation that you download with the uh, Ease of Use project. So I do highly recommend that if you're going to dive into this, read that over. And for the things where I uh, couldn't find it in the documentation. Big thank you to Curtis for helping me out with that. And uh, yeah, I am just having so much fun playing these games that I honestly would never have dreamt I'd be playing on a Coco computer back when I was a kid. That would have blown my mind. So this is a great project just for that, for the games. It's so much fun and there's so much more you can do with it that I'm hopefully going to be learning about soon. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and or the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. So, see you next time.